We have new details tonight that call into question what really happened before that viral video involving CovCath students in that confrontation with Native Americans. Only on Local 12, parents who were in Washington as chaperones tell their side of this story. I sat down with them this evening and what they say confirms what we reported last night, that there is much more to this story. <laughs> This video of Covington Catholic students standing seeming to mock a Native American man on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. lit up social media. Our boys were targeted. They were targeted from the get-go. Um, immediately there were all these people running around filming. Parents Jill Hamlin, Jim Wilson, and Val Andreev were chaperones on the school's annual trip to take part in the March for Life. They shared this video that shows a verbal exchange leading up to the now infamous moment. I mean, I can't believe they even stayed and listened to the vitriol and the hatred that was being shouted at them as a mother. It was horrible, horrible. And our boys did nothing, no violence. They did not attack those gentlemen. They stood there waiting for their bus. Jerry Neri with the Greater Cincinnati Native American Coalition says Nathan Phillips, an elder, wasn't trying to have a confrontation with the group, but changed the tone. You have young people who don't, who are on a field trip and perhaps don't have that experience as to what, how to act um, when you are, you know, whenever someone comes forward and is yelling things at you. And that's unfortunate because someone should have been there at any point in time in that hour and a half, an adult or representative from that school could have stepped in and this would have been, a, a, this, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. But the parents I talk with said they tried. You can see and hear Jim Wilson doing that in this video. Back it up! Hey, back it up! Back it up! Your, your college degrees? was paid off of the bloodshed of slavery. Uh, they were curious of those men, so I got in between those men and the boys and pushed the boys back. Um, eventually, I could get eight, or, eight to ten of the boys that knew me, and I said, we need to get out of here. The parents say the 170 boys were standing, waiting on the bus to pick them up. To pass the time, they did a school cheer. At one point, a student takes off his shirt. Minutes later, Nathan Phillips begins beating a drum and walking towards the students. Look, look at our Make America Great Again hats. Look at the hat. If you were in the March for Life, you saw a lot of Make America Great Again hats, sweatshirts. And attire. Yeah. Uh, right. But, it, I mean, they also were wearing their Covington Catholic sweatshirts proudly. We've made ourselves available. That is yet to happen with, um, with the diocese or with the school. Now, in a joint statement, the school and the diocese said the behavior is opposed to the church's teachings and they are investigating, adding that appropriate action up to and including expulsion is being considered.